Mine has beautiful. Mine's prettier. Mine prettier and all of you. My hey, mine is good, but yours is not bad. Mine's mine better is better than all of you. Mine yours. is good. My 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 why don't you be kind to one another? Okay. Hi, Sunday School. Hi, everybody. Let's Hi. Let's tell our friends, Hi. welcome to Sunday School. All right. It's so good to see you girls. These pretty ones, I've not seen you in Sunday School in a long time. Hmm? <laughs> That's okay. Ebu, tell us uh, your name. What's your name? Carlos Ibindi Lu. Carlos. Uh -huh. The other ones are hard names. Uh huh. And you? My name is Caris Michelle. Caris Michelle and these two friends of ours. Yes, I'll start with a pretty girl. My name is Lorena Alai. Lorena Alai. Hey, people of nice international names. And you, Mr. Mr.? Ozem. Wow, I'm so happy to have all of you and we are going to continue with our lesson. So children, we are moving on and I'm so happy to have you. I really am. And it's a pleasure Thank because you. we are learning about something. Do you remember? Do you know what we have been learning? Who knows what we've been learning? Who knows? Me. Anyone? Children, do you know what we've been learning? It's a yeah. series. What have we been learning? Me. Yes, what have we been learning? About peace. Peace, uh huh. Love. Love. Patience. Patience. Joy. Joy. But these things that you're saying, what are they? You know, there are the something. There are something. Yes, Lorena. Uh, the, fruit, the fruit of the, the Holy Spirit. Wow. You children are actually very good in listening. Children, I hope at home you've been listening, right? Yes. Because we want to continue. And last week there was a memory verse. I know it was a little bit long, but I want to appreciate the children who have been sending memory verses every single week. It is amazing because you are hiding the word of God in your heart. So let's listen to the Sunday school memory verses from last week. Children, let's listen to them. Hi, my name is Jeremy Motinda. The memory verse comes from 1 Timothy chapter 1, verse 16. It says, But for that very reason I was shown mercy, so that in me, the worst of sinners, Christ Jesus, might display his immense patience as an example for those who believe in him and receive eternal life. Thank you. I'm Sifa Jamande. I'm Leland and we have a memory verse from the book of 1 Timothy chapter 1 verse 16. It says, but for that very reason I was shown mercy so that in me, the worst of sinners, Christ Jesus have might display his immense patience as an example for those who believe in him and receive eternal life. Amen. Very well. Thank you, children. I really appreciate that. We can clap for them. Oh, well done. Okay. So this week, and I want us to listen carefully. We want to move on, and I like that you listed them. And this that we are learning today is the fifth fruit of the Holy Spirit. We started with love, then we went to joy, then we went to... Oh, yes, thank you, peace. And which other one? Patience. Patience, right. So today we are moving on to the fifth one. And remember, we said something that we must remember every single time. That the fruit of the Holy Spirit only comes to you children when you believe in the, in the love of Jesus Christ. And you have Jesus as your Savior. The Holy Spirit lives inside of you. And when the Holy Spirit lives inside of you, what he does is this. He makes you to change and be a better person who is more and more like Jesus Christ. All right? You listen. Have you heard that? Yes. All right? So all this fruit we are learning is something that is going to go inside of you. So like today, we are learning about kindness. We are learning about 
kindness. Now let's find out what is kindness. Do you know what kindness is? We say kindness. What is being kind of them? When someone is mean to you, still be kind to them, but you can, like when someone has, when you've taken someone's first friendship with, without permission, you say, hey, that's my pencil. Why did you take without permission? So then what is you kindness? Say, I will give it back. Then he said, you, I'm never giving you my pencil ever again. That's mean. But that's meanness. That's but meanness. Instead, mm. you can say, it's okay. You can give me. I'll give you a second chance. Oh, that's kindness. Mm. Ah, so you've given us a comparison. You've mm. compared. Do you know what kindness is, Carlos? What is kindness? What is being kind? <laughs> if your friend took your things mm. without permission, mm. he said, she turn it uh -huh. and hmm. he give me he give you another chance. Oh, but I want you to tell me in easy words what is kindness. Yeah. Karis, what is to be kind? When I say hey Karis is kind, what does that mean? When someone takes your pencil and then you and then and then she comes and say, Why did you take my pencil? Said I took the pencil because I didn't have any pencil. Ah, okay. But you know you guys are telling me the story of being mean. Or oh, maybe Ozem, you can sit nicely so that we hear from Lorena. Yes, Lorena? Kindness is helping and sharing and caring. Ah, it's caring. I like that because your example has told us what kindness is. But children, let's ask our parents, what is it to be kind? Have we been kind? Think about, let's take a minute to think. Mm. Have I been a kind child? Mm. Think about it. And children at home, have you been a kind child? Because kindness, and I like Lorena's example, that kindness is showing care, okay? That how will Carlos feel? How will Ozem and Lorena and this beautiful Caris feel when I hurt their feelings? Because you think about another person's feelings. And so you won't be shouting at them, Ah, you, you took my pencil, or the other things that we always say. So... Instead, like, oh, you needed a pencil. Oh, here, have the pencil. That means you're being nice to this person. You're caring about that person's feeling. But when we go back to our lesson, you see, kindness, it can be shown in how you think. Because sometimes you're in that place and like, hmm, I don't like this place. That <laughs> means you're thinking something that is not nice, right? Or you're thinking bad about, hmm, I wish I had hair like this one. I don't like hers. You see, you're already thinking and you're not saying. That is, kindness starts from our thoughts, all right? But also the things that we say. Are our words kind? Are we speaking words that make somebody feel nice? Okay? Are we speaking very kind words? Those are things we need to think about. And then, what are we doing? Am I punching people? Am I beating people around? I'm pushing them. Move out of my way. Move out of my way. Or I'm saying, excuse me, please, may I sit? Oh, excuse me, can you sit nicely? Or oh, give room to me. Excuse me. Because we are using nice words, and that is being kind. So, in our lesson today, realize something. Do we, are we always kind all the time? Children, are we always kind? Every day, all the time, every time? No. Think about it. Are we always kind? No. Because it is not easy to be kind. It is not easy. In fact, sometimes we forget, like, ah, move away. And then, like, oops. I did something wrong. So it's not easy to be kind. But you see, even God, who is our God, and he loves us all the time. Imagine God is the one who loves us and shows us kindness. All right? Because we sin all the time. So if God got upset, I'm done. I don't want to be kind to these people anymore. They are, they are just bad. Then what would happen to us? We'd probably be dead by now, right? But we would be nothing, that's true. So, if God shows us kindness every time we sin, every day we sin, God is still patient, and I, we learned about patience last week. God is still showing us kindness. God is making sure we have food. God is making sure that we have peace. We have joy in our hearts, and we have people who love us. And God is doing this over and over and over again because he is God. But because we are sinners, 
we need God to help us to be kind to one another all the time. But now, when you think about it, how do we learn about kindness? Where will we learn about kindness? Where will you learn children how to be kind? Do you know where we can learn how to be kind? Where do you think we can learn? Yes, Lorena. When reading the Bible. Where the perfect, the word of and, God. Uh, and sing the, the, the word of God. Singing songs of praise, yes, for God. Yes, Ozem? Reading the Bible and, and, and be, read, reading the Bible. Reading the Bible, uh-huh. And being kind to one another. Right. And loving one another. And loving one another. You see, it's the Bible that tells us. But now I want us to learn two things, two or three things. Number one, when we read the Bible, we see that kindness comes from the Holy Spirit, okay? Right like now, I can see Ozem is very uncomfortable. So I'm going to ask Ozem to come and sit up here where he's very comfortable. So move there, we show kindness like that, see? So that you check, how is that other person doing? And it's the Holy Spirit, sit here so that I can see Lorena as well. When we see the Holy Spirit in us, we are able to see, hey, the other person is suffering, let me help them. And that's one way of showing kindness because the Holy Spirit is where? Is in us, okay, children? The Holy Spirit is in us to help us show this kindness. But another way, the Bible in the book of Galatians has told us this. And I like that teacher Josh read this to us last week. But the fruit of the Spirit is love, joy, peace, patience, kindness, goodness, faithfulness, gentleness, and self-control. And against such things, there is no law. So the Bible has told us that we can all get this from the Holy Spirit. Okay? Now... The more we continue to live and believe in Jesus, the more we are going to be kind. All right? But there's another example. God has already shown us how to be kind. So when we continue to read our Bible, we are going to be more kind. And then, you know, kindness is supposed to be who you are. If I say, hmm, let me think about Amelia who was here last Sunday. Is she a kind girl? Yes, she is. Why? Because when you look at her, she's nice to people. Hmm, let me think about Lorena. Is she a kind girl? Yes, she is. But let me think about the boys who come to our Sunday school. Are they good children? Yes, they are. Why? Because they show kindness and they've learned kindness over and over and over again. So we are supposed to be kind wherever we go. Even when you think about someone. Before you think about something bad, think, ah, oh, let me be kind to this person. In my thoughts, or when I want to talk about somebody, children, let my words that I speak show kindness so that I say nice things about this person, even if they have upset us. Say, hmm, this person is still the child of God. So we are supposed to be kind because God has commanded us to be kind. But I have a challenge. I have a challenge for this week. And think about it. Children, think about this. I have a challenge. Think about it. What is, think about five things that are going to show kindness to another person. Five. Think about it. So I have one, two, three, four of you and five. Think, let's think. What is one, five things that we want to do for someone else that will show kindness? Children, what is, oh, Lorraine already has hold on to it so that the others can think too. Children, think about it. What is that one kind? No, five. But the first one, which one is the first kind act you're going to do for another person? Lorraine and Caris already have. I'm waiting for these two to think. Think, it takes time. And the best one is when nobody is watching. Only God knows that you did a kind thing. That's the best kind of kindness. So, oh, you know? Fine. So, Lorena was the first one. Which one? Helping my mother washing the dishes. Oh. Sometimes I usually act that I don't want to wash the dishes. But when she goes somewhere, I start washing the dishes. Oh, so helping your parents with the dishes, that's really kind of you. Right? Caris, which one? What will you do to show kindness this week? If someone fall down, falls down, I'm picking her, him up. Oh, if someone falls down, you'll help them up, right? Very nice. Ozem, you need to sit so that the children can see you. Yeah? So what way of kindness will you show? I will see that when, when someone has upset me, we're talking about him but with kind words. You will talk about it with kind words so that they know they've hurt you. That is very mature. All right? That's very nice. And you, how will you show kindness? 
And somebody fall down mm. and he's crying, mm. I tell him sorry. You tell them sorry. Wow. These children right here already have a plan for this week. I also have a plan. I'm going to pray for all of you children in Sunday school. Those who are sick, those who are hurting, those who are hungry. My plan is to pray for all the children in Sunday school. But children, what is your plan? What are the five things? So girls and one boy, you've given me five things, one thing. So think about the other four and then you'll share it with your family. And so that this week we will all be kind. Are we ready to be kind? Yeah. Yes. Yeah? Okay. Now yes. the, our memory verse today comes from the book of Ephesians chapter 4 verse 32. And it says, be kind to one another, tender hearted, forgiving one another as God in Christ forgave you. Now, I want to give you a very simple version, and we learned with these children here. It is a song so that you'll remember, all right? Are you ready? Yes. Do you remember the song? Yes. Super. One to go. Be kind to one another. Be kind to one another. Be kind to one another. Ephesians 4, 32. One more time. So, be kind to one another. We find that in the book of Ephesians chapter 4, verse 32. All right? So one more time. Be wait, wait. Let's make it, let's make it a, a, a little higher. Be kind to one another. Be kind to one another. Be kind to one another. Ephesians 4, 32. Be kind. All right? So... We are going to be kind, and that's our memory verse. And I hope, parents, you'll show your children even simpler ways to show kindness so that this big word can come down to our level where they understand. Thank you so much, girls and boys, for being with us today and teaching us and learning with us. I really appreciate you. But it's time to give our offerings now. Do you remember how we're doing it? Yes. 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 How do we do it? Eight, zero, nine. Awesome, these children already know it. Our so, account we, number our account number is? Sunday school. We don't even need to say it anymore because they already know, all right? And I, rem I hope you're going to be kind. So, who was saying our final prayer? Who was Lorena. giving? Lorena. Okay, so let's sit nicely so that we pray and finish. Let's bow our heads for the word of prayer. Thank you, Lord, for this Sunday. And thank you for the lesson. Amen. 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 All right, let's say bye to the children. Bye. bye. And tell them be kind. Be kind. All right. Thank you very much. Bye, children. See you next week.